Hello everyone, my name is Ranger Dave Schmidt, and welcome to Flight 93 National Memorials Series, Their Story Lives Here. Stories of the remarkable passengers and crew on Flight 93. Today I have the honor of telling the story of one of those passengers, Marion Britton. Imagine, if you would, a young woman knocking on the door of an urban apartment. Greeted by the tenants, she introduces herself as a census taker. She asks the required questions, re completes the required forms, and then departs for another residence. Well, later on that day, the same census taker would knock on that same door and be greeted by the same tenants. Well, this time, she would have her arms full of bags of groceries. The Reverend Paul Britton said, that was just like his sister Marion. She would recognize when people were in financial needs and respond accordingly, going well above and beyond the job she did as a counter during the 1980 census. He said that Marion had a huge heart and was a very caring, motherly person. What does the word mother or motherly mean to you? Marion Britton was born in Queens, New York. Growing up, she loved roller skating. She loved collecting things such as dolls and records. Anyone remember those old LPs and 45s? Marion also showed unconditional love. She had a special quality of drawing people to her. People who were not accepted, loners. She was also a treasure trove of family history. She was also quite the storyteller. Reverend Britton said, that on September 11th, he not only lost his sister, but a large chunk of my family memory. Well, Mary and Britton worked for a while as a bookkeeper for a construction company. Seeking new challenges, she started working part-time for the Census Bureau in the New York region. As described before, she showed great poise and a great caring manner. She also took on some challenging assignments. For example, she was a counter at Rikers Island, a New York City area prison. She always remembered that the inmates told her, when that whistle blows, you have to leave here or else you'll have to stay overnight. Well, Marion Britton worked her way up to being assistant regional director of that region. In that capacity, she had many supervisor responsibilities, but she was perfect for that role. In fact, she had done every facet of census work. She was tough and direct, but also caring and motherly. You could go to her with any professional or personal problem. She was a mentor to her colleagues and very generous too. In fact, when she traveled, she would always bring with her her favorite New York City bagels to share. Well, on that flight was Waleska Martinez, with Mary and Britton. They were both traveling to a Census Bureau conference. But being on that very flight showed Mary and Britton's motherly nature. The two women were scheduled to be on different flights, but Marion changed her flight in order to accompany Waleska because she knew that her colleague did not like to fly alone. Waleska and Marion had both won the bronze medal the highest award presented by the Census Bureau. After their passing, they both won the gold medal, the highest award offered by the Department of Commerce. The inscription that accompanied that award said that we remember Marion Britton and Waleska Martinez, not only as warm and caring individuals, but as also as dedicated and distinguished professionals. Well, today, folks, I've had the honor of telling you a little bit of the story of Marion Britton, and we urge you to continue listening as we present Their Story Lives Here. Thanks very much.